Hi everybody, Don Balance here with another two minute tutorial, this one featuring Animation Store Creator, an application that comes with both NewTek TriCaster and 3Play, and it's used to create animated transitions and animated buffers. So in previous videos, we take a look at making overlay transitions and transitions with matte sequences, but there's another type of transition, and that is the warp effect. So a warp effect allows you to map video onto a 3D object. And it's very similar setup to the matte effect. First, we load our color image sequence. And I'm going to go into up and away and load my overlay sequence. Now, this was rendered in Lightwave 3D uh, using soft body dynamics. And it's a cloth simulation where this cloth kind of just gets taken off the screen and you can see it blowing in the wind. Now, the image sequence is kind of semi-transparent, not real visible, but you can see it as we scrub the timeline here. Now, to get the video from source A to map onto that, we're going to use something called an EXR sequence. Now, EXR files can be rendered out of After Effects or your 3D application. These were rendered out of Lightwave from the same scene that rendered the overlay. And this is basically UV maps telling every pixel where to go on that distorted, warped image. So once the EXRs are loaded, now you can see that source A is mapping to that cloth, distorting and blowing off the screen. This means anything that can be done in a 3D application, as long as you can get the EXR files out, you can basically make that into a real-time transition using Animation Store Creator. Then again, you would just simply find the area for your icon, you would pick your quality level, add a sound effect if you want one, and you are ready to export or create an installer. Well, I hope this tutorial has been helpful to you. If you have any suggestions for other topics you'd like covered, please put them in the comments below. And tune in again next time for another two-minute tutorial.